Hello, and welcome to Ninox Learning. In this session, we're going to take a look around the Ninox desktop. We're going to look at the different tools and icons that we use to build custom database applications in the Ninox system. I'm going to go ahead and move myself out of the way so you can see my desktop. Now, I've built a lot of databases with Ninox, and each one is represented by these different boxes that appear across the top of the screen. If you haven't worked with Ninox before, you won't see these boxes, but as you build individual databases and custom applications, each one will be represented by a separate clickable icon. What I want you to find is the white box with the plus sign that says New Database, and go ahead and click on that right now. Now, when building a new database, you can begin by using templates. These are building blocks or starting points that you can use when you're new to the Ninox system. These templates have tables and fields already created. They have data already put into the system, sample data that you can use and kind of learn by example. You can see the kinds of information and content that are stored in the different kinds of fields by just looking at the templates. Now in this session, we're not actually going to build a database. So I want you to go ahead and click on new to start with a new and empty database. However, in the session after this, session 103, we're going to talk about creating your first database. And in the session after that, session 201, the session on building my first table, we get into great detail on all of the different fields and all of the different things you can do when building tables in your Ninox database. But for now, let's just click on new and start with a new and empty database. When you click on it, this will bring up the new database screen. And go ahead and give your database a name. I'm going to call it My Database. You can call yours whatever you like. Click on the blue Create Database button. And then I will create a brand new database and take you straight to the desktop. Now, depending on whether or not you've worked with Ninox before, you may see your, de your desktop in full screen mode, which is what we see here. Or you might see a sidebar along the left-hand side of your screen. This sidebar allows us to see the different modes and tables in our Ninox database application. You can adjust the size of the sidebar by grabbing the border between the sidebar and the desktop, clicking your mouse and holding, and dragging it left or right to make the sidebar larger and the desktop a little bit smaller. For right now, go ahead and grab that border between the sidebar and the desktop, if you see a sidebar at all, and drag it all the way to the left, and we're going to operate in full screen mode. In full screen mode, your mode icons appear across the top of the screen, starting in the left-hand corner. Now let's take a look at those icons. The first one is the Ninox logo, and if you click on that, you see the option to save archive. This is your backup function. This is where you go to save your work. Save early and save often. When you make changes to your database, make sure to save an archive at least once an hour minimum. So if anything happens to your computer, you don't lose your work. I back up between every 30 and 60 minutes. And at the end of the day, I get rid of the early archives and just save the last one. But this way I can retrace my steps if I have to go back in time or if something happens to my computer and maybe it shuts down at the very worst moment. So use that archive function to make your backups. You can also duplicate and rename your databases and we'll talk about those functions in future videos. Now, let's talk about the mode of operation of Ninox. Your current mode will always be indicated by the blue circle. Right now we are at the home screen, the home base of this database that we just created. It's an empty database, so there are no tables, but the blue, bot, blue dot indicates that we are at home. That home icon will always bring you back to this central desktop in your application. 
no matter where you are in your in your application no matter what you're doing clicking on the home icon will bring you back to your main desktop next to the home icon is a square click on the square you'll see the blue dot move to indicate that we are now in calendar mode calendar mode is an incredibly powerful feature built into Ninox and in this mode we can view date sensitive information and content according to the days of the week the weeks of the months and the months of the year now date sensitive information are things like the date an invoice is due or the date a payment is scheduled to be received from a customer if we're tracking purchase orders we may want to track the date the PO was cut and the date we're expecting delivery of the products we ordered or if you're scheduling meetings for your club or just trying to keep track of all the different events in your life the built-in calendar in Ninox is a great way to look at date sensitive content according to when that information is scheduled to become relevant real quickly looking at the calendar you can look at it by month or by week you can look at a one day five day or a seven day option when you're in the week mode and when you're looking at the days you can look at all 24 hours of the day or click the show only working hours button in the top right hand corner to simply look at the working hours of the day and in this case the working hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. now clicking on the options button back on the left hand side will bring up our calendar options and this allows us to synchronize the Minox calendar with the other calendars on our computer this is a great way to integrate the scheduling functions and the date sensitive data in Ninox with the other calendars that you may have on your computer. Now, the next mode that I want to talk about is the magnifying glass. This is our search engine. Click on the magnifying glass. Again, our mode has changed, so the blue dot now appears in the magnifying glass to tell us we are in search mode or find mode. The search engine built into Ninox is incredibly powerful. Whether you have 100 records, 100,000 records, or millions of records in your database, using the built-in search engine, you can almost instantly find that specific single record that you're looking for. Let's say you have hundreds or thousands of customers, and you're trying to find one in particular. Using the dynamic search engine in Ninox, you simply type in the name or any information you have on that customer and the customer will appear instantaneously on your screen now as I said Ninox has a dynamic search engine which means the results of your search will get more and more specific as the content you type into the find box gets more and more specific so if you type in the word or name Joe you might find all customers that have the name Joe somewhere in the record. If you type in a specific name like Joseph Smith, it will bring up only those customers that are named Joseph Smith. And you can then find the one that you're specifically looking for. Type in the name of a city, all your customers in that city will immediately appear or state or country or zip code if you only know a couple digits of the phone number or their email address type in whatever content you want and Ninox will find that record no matter how many thousands of records are in your database it's really a remarkable tool it's built right into Ninox and it's really easy to use now go ahead and click on the home button the house to return to our desktop and I now want to look at one more function, which is probably one of the most important in the entire system. Now think about this. When you want to fix something or work on systems, you grab a tool. And the tool we use in Ninox to work on our system is the wrench. Please note the wrench in the top left hand, I'm sorry, the top right hand corner of my screen. And right now it's glowing red. This tells me that I am in administration or edit mode. When the wrench is red, I can change or modify the architectural structure of my database. I can add new tables, change and delete fields. 
I can change currencies from dollars to euros or pounds. I can change whether text fields appear in all caps or lowercase. I can change the colors of things. I can add fields and add content. This is a toggle switch. If it's glowing red, that means it's on. Click it again and it will go gray, telling us that administrative mode is off. When the wrench is gray and administrative mode is off, you can see and interact with the content of your database, but you can't modify the database itself. So what that means is when the wrench is gray, you can edit and view and add content to your database, add new information, add new customers, add additional invoices or anything you want to store. But in terms of changing the structure of the database, the tables, the fields, maybe editing the code if you've built some formulas, you can't do that unless you're in administrative mode. And you know when you're in administrative mode because the wrench is red. Now go ahead and click on the wrench until it glows gray. And we're now back to our desktop in data management mode. And that's pretty much it. Your three modes in Ninox are the home screen, the calendar mode, the search engine, you have this fourth icon right to the next to the magnifying glass that allows us to toggle in and out of our split screen mode. Split screen mode has our sidebar on the left and the remainder of our screen dedicated to the desktop. We can change the allocation of screen space to the sidebar and the desktop by moving our cursor to the border between the two sections click and hold, and drag left and right. Dragging right makes our sidebar bigger and our desktop smaller, and dragging left does exactly the opposite. You can drag the sidebar just to the point where the icons appear. This allows us to have the best of both worlds. We still have the sidebar, which gives us quick, easy access to the tables of the different modes of our database application with a large part of our screen dedicated to our work area, our desktop. Or we can grab the border by moving the cursor until it turns to a crosshair, click and hold, and drag all the way to the left until the sidebar completely disappears and we're back in full screen mode with our icons across the top. To get back into split screen mode, just click the box. Back into full screen mode, grab the border between the two areas, click and hold, and drag all the way to the left. And that's it. It's really easy to go from your desktop to the calendar, to open up the search engine, look at the sidebar, find the table you want, close the sidebar to maximize your workspace, and don't forget that all-important wrench in the top right-hand corner. That's where you go to grab the tool that you use to build the structure, and create the design of your database application. That's it for now. Check out the next video, which talks about building your first database and how to use templates to get a quick start in Ninox. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.